kind of reluctant to spray my horseradish for worms. Don't want to disturb the little tree frog. I didn't think worms liked horseradish. Oh, there's one. I'm not too worried about this container. Since this was a volunteer anyhow, and horseradish, you can't really get rid of it once you start. Well, I got a frog on here. I'm just going to hand pick these off. Hi, welcome to my garden. Today is Saturday, and you know what that means. We're going to do a review of this garden. Then we're going to go to you, and we're going to celebrate what's going on in your garden. If you're new to my garden, you're in for a real treat. Saturdays are reserved for you and what's going on in your garden. This is where we get inspiration. This is where we get ideas. And this is where I get the motivation to come out here every day and show you what's possible in your garden. Saturdays have become one of my favorite days of the week. We're building a loose-knit community of people who like to get their hands dirty and grow things that taste good. And I invite you to join us. We've got friends from all around the world. Let's go on down to Jamaica and take a look at what's going on in Marie's container garden. Marie has been struggling in the Jamaica heat and like the rest of us would like to have a little more rain. But her production is still wonderful. Thank you, Marie. That's a cornucopia. That was fantastic. Thank you. Seeds we planted just the other day our lettuce, our beets, and around, I don't know, four or five of the squash are coming up pretty good. You want to keep your babies watered in the heat. Can you believe I've got tomatoes growing well above my head? And we've had three weeks of well over 100 degree temperature. I credit it all to the deep mulch. You can do this too. There's a few things I need to pick this morning. While I get over there, let's go on down to Australia, see what's up with Mick. Mick wished us all good day. I wanted to share a bit of what's going on down under. Mick, awesome. Mick, that was awesome. And has anybody ever said you can't have enough beets? Well, I got some beans here, and when we put this trellis in, I was kind of thinking they'd be hanging down, not up on top. That's why we got the ladder out here. Let me go ahead and start picking some beans. And while we do that, we've got a friend of ours that went on vacation. His garden kind of suffered, but as a true gardener, he got some really nice shots on his vacation for us. Walter, stage is yours. Walter went on vacation to visit his family, and they took him to the Seven Kingdoms for lunch. Seven Kingdoms has views, flowers, fruit trees, a small zoo, and a working garden. Walter said this was on a mountain and temperatures were in the 70s. It was just a wonderful day. He wanted to share it with everyone. Like all gardeners, Walter knew if he talked to the gardener that was working, he might get a couple fresh peppers to add to his lunch. But when he came home, he found his tomatoes were a bit toasty. His peppers are doing fine, and he was able to save a few tomatoes. We look forward to seeing what you're going to do with all those peppers, Walter. Thank you. Leave a comment down below. Guess where Walter went on vacation? Walter, that was awesome. You're going to have to take me next time. But I got a bunch more beans to pick. I don't think that made a dent at all. But that's going to make a pretty good mess. Well, those were our Kentucky Wonders, but on our purple beans here, we've got plenty. I just walked right past that one. There's nothing better than picking a ripe tomato 
right at shoulder height. You can do this too. Let's go ahead and take a look at another one of our longtime contributors that we haven't seen in a while. Denise, when the Oklahoma heat burns up your raised beds, what do you do? You plant seeds and you remulch. Denise has a great start on her fall garden. It reminds us, if you don't sow, you can't grow. And she also reminds us to never give up. The harvest is worth the effort. Thank you for the motivation. We look forward to seeing your fall harvest. Thank you, Denise, and we're glad you stopped by. Now this is late summer corn. It's tasseling out, starting to make ears. Whoever said you couldn't plant summer corn? This is our second year doing it, and I'm pretty happy with it. We even got some small stuff. We even got a third round coming up. We'll see what that does. We might not have enough days for that, but this right here, we definitely will. Check out our helper. Gotta love frogs in the garden. Check out the turmeric flower. You know this is happy in the deep mulch. And not only that, we've got another one of our tree frogs. For the benefit of not using heavy spray in the garden, we do get critters that help us out. Please hit that like button and share this episode. That'll tell YouTube to push it out to more people that might want to learn how to garden. That is spectacular. Mike and Linda's deep mulch garden is keeping things looking lush in their Texas 100 degree heat. Their forecast is for a little cooler and wetter late summer. Just in time. Guys, your garden looks amazing. Thank you for the inspiration. Leave a comment down below and let everybody know just how much you appreciate them sharing what's going on in their garden. I'm pretty confident we're going to get some more cucumbers. Look at that. Round three of our squash have flowers on it. And whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, our reapers, they're getting flowers. We're going to have reapers this year. And those are hot little buggers. In round four of our squash, they're starting to set flowers. They're not quite there yet. Is that a watermelon I see back there? I definitely see one up here. It's just forming. We planted this in mid-July. And it's got a friend over here that'll be ripe here in not too long. Look at that, we've got another Charleston Gray coming on. We've had a pretty good season with watermelons this year. You can do this too. And I give all the credit to the deep mulch. Now, if you'd like to participate and share what's going on in your garden, I guarantee you all of the gardeners would love to see what you're doing. All you have to do is email me at waylandsmalley5 at gmail.com. And kind of watching this, it didn't get real round, but I think it's ripe. Let's see. Look at that. That stem is just peeling right off of there. This is all credited to the deep mulch, and you can do this too. You can have a garden this lush all summer long. If you want to know a little bit more about the deep mulch, click that link right there and I'll meet you back in the garden. If you want to learn about the living soil under that mulch, click that link and I'll meet you right back in the garden. And until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.